Dr. Stephen D'Souza of Associated Retina Consultants is here with help today. And we're actually focusing today on diabetic eye disease. How common is this? Well, unfortunately, diabetic eye disease is uh, very common in America today. And, you know, it's the leading cause of new cases of blindness in uh, Americans 20 to 74 years of age. Really? So it's a big problem. And unfortunately, blindness is 25 times more common in diabetics than in non-diabetics. So are even in this day and age, it's still a it's big still problem. It's still happening. Yeah. Now, what are some of the early symptoms that we should be concerned with? Well, um, uh, some of the early uh, symptoms of diabetic retinopathy can be minimal. And so patients don't always know when they have any diabetic eye disease. At the early stages though, sometimes they will have uh, floaters and those uh, initial floaters are signs of bleeds into the substance of the retina. And those bleeds into the substance of the retina should not be ignored because they can be the signs of new blood vessels growing on the retina, which can eventually cause detachment of the retina. Uh, when they get diabetic macular edema, those uh, initial symptoms are just a blurring of their vision. Okay, now you actually are going to show us how diabetes can affect the eye too. Yes, indeed. So um, at the early stages of diabetes, you get outpouchings of blood vessels around the very dead center of the vision. That's called the macula. Those outpouchings uh, are leaky, and normally uh, the eye like the brain has what we call a blood barrier. So it doesn't allow fluid into the substance of the retina. And so when these outpouchings happen, they leak fluid into the substance of the retina and that causes macular swelling or macular edema. Um, later on, there are uh, twists and turns of these blood vessels which eventually cause blockages of the circulation. Those blockages of the circulation lead to uh, a lack of blood supply. The eye uh, responds to that lack of blood supply by releasing a growth factor called VEGF, vascular endothelial growth factor. That VEGF, or vascular endothelial growth factor, is also a leaky factor. And so it causes these blood vessels near the center vision to become more leaky. And then this growth factor causes new blood vessels to grow on the surface of the retina. And that, those new blood vessels are not normal new blood vessels. So they leak, they bleed more easily. And then when they scar, they can actually pull the retina off, just like pulling the wallpaper off your, that off your wall. That sounds really scary, but there has been treatments over the past 20 years that we want to talk about. Oh, yes, indeed. So, you know, uh, about 20 years ago, uh, the, the mainstay of our treatment was laser. Laser treatment to the center of your vision and laser treatment to the periphery. And those are still important treatments, but we have now had major advancements both in uh, imaging of the retina as well as in uh, treatments to the retina. And so the imaging that we have now that we've had available for approximately 15 years is called OCT or optical coherence tomography. And we can actually use um, a, a laser to image the retina almost like a living biopsy. So that's like a, a imaging the retina at a microscopic level that tells us where swelling is happening and where sometimes there's a lack of oxygen, lack of blood supply. Now, if you are, you know, are suffering from this, you want to make an appointment, it, it's fairly easy. Tell me about Associated Retina Consultants. Well, Associated Retina Consultants is a group of eight retina specialists who are dedicated to treating the eye from the age of two days to 100 years of age. And so we have access to all the latest treatments, the anti-VEGF drugs like Avastin, like Lucentis, like uh, Aflibercept or Ilea. So these are the treatments that we are now injecting into the eye that are able to help our patients That's see fun. so much better than before. And everyone, if you want to make an appointment and learn more, it's very easy. All you have to do is visit AssociatedRetinaConsultants.com or all you have to do is call the number right there on your screen.